guys, welcome to a very special edition of The Running Journey. Uh, I'm Rob, no Charlie today, because we're live from Oromocto, just outside of Oromocto, New Brunswick. I'm with my crew here. Uh, I'm running across New Brunswick right now. I've been recording special episodes. I recorded one with Frank and Pud, the two Granny brothers. I recorded one with uh, Joe Minigrains, who ran a full marathon. I recorded one with James Sprayon O'Brien. And today, I'm recording with three guys, Alex Sound, who I ran with yesterday, yeah. Tyson, who I ran with, what, two, two, three days ago? Uh, three days ago, yeah. Three days and ago. Diego, who, what? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So, uh, just want to kind of update you guys on what's happening here. Today, I ran the Fredericton Half Marathon, which was really fun. Uh, who wants to feel like they want to act as a host here? Do well, a... I'll act. Oh, oh, I'll, oh, I'll just ask you a question. Okay. How was the Half Marathon? Ah, Half How Marathon. Thanks for asking, <laughs> TJ. Thanks for asking. It was good. I went and I was worried about pain because my mom and my dad were stressing out. And well, you can't. But, uh... but be careful. Your leg is hurting. You shouldn't put that much pressure on your leg. You should probably put some ice on it. Okay? What else did they want me to do yesterday? Didn't you tell me this? A, a knee brace or something? Oh yeah, the, yeah. They wanted me to buy a knee brace and wear a knee brace. I'm, I'm running across New Brunswick. Yeah, I'm gonna wear a knee brace. Um, so I did, but I was, they, they had me stressed out a bit. And, uh, so this morning I was kind of jog. So I jogged to the Fredericton marathon. That was 11 kilometers, 10, 11 kilometers. And I was doing kind of 11 minute miles, just on, off, on, off. And I was like, how is this going to go? I wanted to push. I want to see what I can do. So when the race started, I just kind of flicked the switch, followed the pace that I was at. All of a sudden I, I looked after one mile, I had no clue. The adrenaline just kicked in. I looked at my watch, eight minute mile. Like, wow, well, I can for sure do this for another 12 miles. I just kept, I made a goal at that moment. All right, I'm going to break 145, which is exactly eight minute miles. And that's what I set out to do. And that's what I did. And honestly, I think I could have gone way faster. The pain, this is one of the things I was telling you. It's like, I don't think pain, that pain, the soreness is a real thing. Obviously injuries, you've had injuries. You've had injuries, Tyson? I've had injuries, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there's a difference between an injury that's preventing you from running and just general soreness where you're just hurt everywhere and you're, you're kind of booting and you're kind of like, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to run right now. Yeah. So I was in that, oh, this sucks, this hurts, this mode. And as soon as I got going, it just disappeared. So uh, that was a bit of a... Because there was no real difference between running. There was no difference between running... At eight minute miles or 10 minute miles or 11 minute miles for like pain or how I felt or whatever. It just disappeared once I started moving. My heart rate went from 120 to 140, but there's no difference. So I thought that was a crazy lesson that I took today that I almost have a hard time believing, but I felt it. I right. excel you ran yesterday. The thing is, what I want to say about the pacing. Oh, please. Yeah, you sure. got to find ways to keep your mind off the pain. You got to distract yourself. Yeah, what did, what were you doing for distract? Like, do you, you did ten k? You'd never really done. I think your max was what five k. Yes, that was my max. The Terry Fox run. Mm -hmm. Also, the triathlon that you did last year was three or four, maybe five k. I don't remember. Yeah. Was, okay. This was for sure longer than you'd done. Yeah. So, what are your strategies for distracting your mind? Well, see, what I do is I try to figure out like new ideas or stuff I could do to plan myself in the future to get better at running in my head or just think about a funny show I like watching or like new like ideas for like comic books or stuff and sometimes like I guess talking to you too yeah a way to... I, I get the sense that you didn't really want to talk much when we were running you were kind of focused I feel like if I talk I would be like less uh, out of energy more quickly because I use my stamina 100% 100%, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I find that kind of 145 is a spot where people have a hard time talking through their breath heart rate so if, if you're i would have had a little bit of a hard time today talking i think through my uh through my leg today yeah. Diggs, how's life been on the road i want to ask Good. you that yeah I'm, I'm tell, tell the viewers what 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 our schedule looks only like been here two days but or maybe Tyson, you could also chime in. Yeah, yeah I'll, chime, I'll chime in. I'll chime in. You, you guys chime in. What's our schedule like these days? What do we do here? Well, it's usually up early. We head to the leg. 
we do a leg and then drive we, slowly behind the rock. Yeah, drive slowly, slowly and then slow. we Real plan slow. for the second leg. Yeah. And and then after that we plan for the morning. So it's it's good. So we're nine days in. Every yeah. single day we've gone back to back legs. Every single day. Tomorrow. Well, today we went back to back. I, we were done. We at, this was the earliest we've done because I was done like I ran it before. We did it quickly today, though. Yeah, so I, I didn't run with you guys quick. today. Very yeah, quick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I went out. I crushed 11k before. Did the half. Did another 11k after, and that was it. It was done. But uh, I want to ask you guys: 8 p.m., 8 a.m., 4 p.m. versus back to back. What do you guys think? Back to back is a lot better. Easier on the day, right? Yeah. Gives you time yeah. to get drunk. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. I mean, after well, I have the entire time. day, right? Yeah. Once, once it's done, it's done, and you, you have the rest. It of the does day, like so. push the day. I found it's, like, it's like a long day. You're a lot more tired after yeah. the 4 p.m. leg. Yeah, you get burned out. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow is yeah. going to be my first 8 a.m. 4 p.m. day. I'm running with Cross Canada Jacks in the morning, which I am. Really excited about. That'll be great. The famous TikToker. Yeah, famous The TikToker. famous Cross Canada Jacks. And then I'm running with Ryan Malik in the afternoon, who wants to run at 4 p.m. So, well, who signed up to run at 4 p.m. and planned accordingly. <laughs> can't, can't. Not his fault. Yeah, not, yeah, not his no, fault. No, 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 Ryan, if you're watching, it's not your fault. No. Uh, that'll be the first day, and I'm kind of like a little dreading it because those yeah. were tough like last year those the tough ones were, the were tough. Ones. yeah how are, how are you feeling are you are you nervous a little bit about how your body would change like, react to it a little yeah. bit yeah. yeah yeah wait you're nervous whoa pat's nervous <laughs> for what <one? laughs> i thought you weren't supposed to be nervous. i just i but. i don't want this like this body to this old old uh train engine here to, <laughs> to break down people are throwing coal on the fire and like She's gonna blow, and I don't want the, the the train to stop moving. I know if I just hammer them both out in the morning, it's a bit of pain, soreness. But I talked about how soreness is not a real thing. So just pure soreness is not a real thing. So I can get through that. But if I, it's just so much longer. Like it's so yeah. much longer mentally. Those second legs last year were so tough. Yeah, it's a big gap. It's a big gap, and all day you're just yeah. looking forward to that. You're just not delaying. Looking you're delaying your your recovery pretty much. Yeah, it's and true. then you you're not done till. Like there were nights last year where we'd leave the restaurant at nine o'clock. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you're you're running four to six thirty, maybe seven. Then you go to the restaurant, drive, bring someone back. You're back in your room. It's nine o'clock. Yeah. It's bedtime. Go. Don't even have time to do the boots, the compression boots. Yeah. Talk about those. He really loves new those. recovery oh, uh, treatment day. Yeah, yeah, I would. I would live in those things. Yeah. They're the so, they're so good. I would walk around in them. I can't walk, but these nor I, I, we need a sponsorship from them, obviously. But these Normatec uh, three point oh hyper ice uh, compression leg suit things, they are the best feeling on my legs. You've tried them. Yeah. How are they? They're not bad. I, I think you, I think you like them a little bit too much. Though. I, I fair enough. I do, but I mean, I get the blood circulating in there. Tyson, you've tried them. I love them. Yeah, I love them. Everyone yeah. who's been in those boots so far has loved them. Yeah, except um, Marlene didn't like them as much, but I don't think she had the right size. That's fair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I do like the boots, but I mean, like, I'm not gonna have time to do boots. Well, I mean, tomorrow though, the good news is we're finishing right here. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. Yeah, we're so we'll, right, we'll be like a 10 right minute, 15 minute drive back here. Oh, yeah, nice. it's a 10 minute drive. So we'll hang morning. out all afternoon. <clears throat> yeah. nice. Hot tub. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big meal. Yeah. Oh, we'll crush the meal. Yeah, we'll crush the meal. And yeah, then the it'll be just like. It'll last be like year. last year. Yeah. Hot tub, rush, and then we got to go. Yeah, it'll go quick. Yeah. 4 p.m. will hit real quick. And then yeah, you do your leg, and then it's late, and you go to bed. Tyson, I want to talk about your leg. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my leg is good. My left one is good. My right one is all Tyson wore alpha flies. <laughs> wore alpha. First person that I've run with at this event that has worn yeah. alpha flies. The, the Grenies came with uh, farm boots. Yeah. And yeah. You, you're wearing alpha flies. Um, you look like you weren't even breathing. <laughs> I actually felt like I was I was pretty, I wouldn't say nervous, but I was anxious about doing the leg. I was well, because like, you I probably either... thought I was going to force you to do like 21 kilometers of pain. Well, I kind of and... had that in my head and I knew, like I knew I had signed up for the, the worst, the highest elevation one or the second highest elevation one. And I was, 
I was a little anxious so about it. I like, wanted to kind of let you stew a little bit. Yeah. And like let you think, but I kind of told you a few days back that like, you're not doing the whole thing. No, no. And it was the way we did it. I did 3K on, 3K off. And what? It was. Yeah, secrets out. Secrets out. Of secrets out. I edited. I, yeah, <laughs> you didn't know I that? faked it. We'll almost. cut this out. We'll cut this yeah, out. Yeah, we don't need to tell people. Don't need to know. Uh, and it was honestly like. Okay, but well, that was the day was after nice. the Greer nice. Creek run. Yes. The Greer Creek run that morning was who did I run with that morning? Well, that that well, was, I was with my mom. That was with your mom and mom. They couldn't even bike up the hill. Couldn't even bike up. The they hill. were like, "Oh, we'll just follow you and bike." They couldn't get up the hill. That's they were walking their bikes, and I was like, "Okay, poor Uncle Mo is trying to." Walk his, walk he his powered bike. through it though. He like, did he power did through great. it, but like he's great. walking his bike up yeah. the hill. Yeah, and then I told TJ, I'm not making you do those hills. <laughs> like that would be not fair. That'd be torture. It's a good feeling. So, uh, feeling. but you did do I don't know what you do 12k or something. Yeah, I did Th- four just sets done, of like very good, like almost 12k. Yeah. Four sets so, of three. Yeah, yeah. And that was actually pretty good for me because you'd ask me some questions, we chat a bit about something, and then you'd yeah. leave for 15 minutes or whatever. Yeah, and then I I think of oh, you know what? I have an answer to that question or whatever. And I got a bit of alone time. And what I don't like is running by myself for an extended period of time because we're one of our top fans is, is about to come in. You want to join the podcast? No, no, no. You guys do it. But uh, what happened? Is the golf on your TV or on your, the regular TV? Oh, did it crash or something? Or Yeah. It, it's well, on the TSN app. So if you go to the TSN app and go to live, you okay. should be able to find the, the Wells Fargo. Okay title thing because it's not on your phone right on the yeah it's not on my phone it's on the tv okay, tsn app yeah okay wells fargo championship pretty important details yeah, yeah we'll we'll keep that in no sure. no that's staying in that's yeah. critical it is uh so i forgot what i was saying but i think you did pretty good so what i was gonna say is you were not huffing and puffing i, I like i don't want to put this out there but you could have for sure crushed that 21k that day or am I, I wrong? I felt, I felt pretty good. The last time I had ran was the February half marathon. Like a I flat leg? Run. A flat leg at that pace? I could have done that. You would have been fine. I could have done that. Like a 225 or something? 225, yeah. yeah. Like a 12 to 11 minute mile. I could have done that. I could have done that. That would have been easy. But though that was the most elevation. So I was, I'm not making yeah. you do that. That's And I appreciate that. Because that would have uh, pushed me. Well, then you're like, you're coming here, you're volunteering, you're, and then like, uh, yeah, go jump out there and well, kill yourself. Or, the, the, I, I, you're not a, I'm not a runner, I'm not Rob. really a runner. No, I know. The, the February, like, I just need to train more and commit myself because I think I'd be okay at running. But do but you? I mean, if you don't enjoy it, you don't have to run. I, You know what I like is I like 5K, 10K. Like, I do, the, the, the length of running a half marathon for two hours, I just don't... Um, most I people get don't bored like a little bit. I almost yeah. get bored. I agree. I yeah, it's a lit man. Yeah, I I, like it's a not bit. a. It's a very acquired taste. Yes. Yeah, I can get like that. those Red Bulls that you're crushing. This is my first one. <laughs> in and two those, weeks <laughs> and those martinis that Uncle Mo's. Well, crushing. yeah, those as well. But... Uh, Alexandre, you ran 10k. Yes, same, I did. Same, similar thing. 10, 11k, similar mm-hmm. thing to Tyson. You did three on three, kind of similar thing. Yeah. Uh, you were actually leaving me in the dust. At the end. <laughs> yeah. But Do you think you could have gone longer? Could you have done 21K? <laughs> Flat. M- my heart was starting to hurt. Yeah. My heart <laughs> really hurt. I will not lie. Okay. So maybe that's a no. I mean, yeah. But I've been telling my, my son, this is my son, my 16-year-old son, I've been telling him forever that he's actually gifted in running. He's actually gifted in long-distance running because I, I saw you. You're like... Most kids your age cannot run a 5K. You can do easily do a 5K. You can do 10K. So you'd actually, if you train just a tiny bit, you'd be really good. You'd have a chance at winning zones or whatever. Because I remember what I was doing at your age. But, uh, I mean, you got to like running. You don't like running, right? Not really. Yeah, so <laughs> then you're not going to do it, right? Diggs? It's on my cup of tea. That's that's fine. And I, I always tell people. People go like, oh, I know I should run more. I should No, you shouldn't. Unless you enjoy it. I like biking. Right. Yeah, so then you, you're actually really good at biking like too. That bike. day you did the triathlon. I always tell people, don't run unless you enjoy it. you got to enjoy it. Yeah. Which takes us to digs. You're two days away from your leg. Mm-hmm. You're going to pull a Tyson? Uh, we'll see. Is it Tuesday? Tuesday. I'd like you to run Tuesday yeah. if you can. I think I'll just run until I can. But let's start a little later so that I, I get you on the back nine though. 
Sure, sure, sure. Or or do five on five on three off or something. Yeah. I think you should. Oh, you should oh, the both legs. No, no, just one, just one leg. I want you on the second leg. Okay. Forget about the morning leg. Okay. I can do. That. We'll probably put my if it's a flat leg. Maybe well, I my, can bike the morning and run the afternoon. Sure. Or maybe my mom and Mole want to. I can bike both. Or maybe Claude whatever. will want to bike them. Yeah. Claude, I think pretty. Be he fun. wants to get involved. Okay, so we'll get Claude to bike that one, yeah. or we'll ask him if he wants to do it. Yeah. Uh, but like an athlete like Diggs, who one time lost to me in an Ironman post Ironman uh, race, one mile, one, one mile race, <laughs> one mile race. Um, you've done what three halves in your life? Uh, the trail one in Houston. Yeah. The run with Rob last year. Yeah. You did two run with Rob last year. Yeah, you, you were running with him. I remember. You did the QA light. Uh, no, I didn't do the QA. Oh, I just played yeah. one. I just did the CMV half. CMV half. Okay, yeah. okay. And then I did the... the CMV LA. half with... Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, because the QA leg was on the same day. Yeah, yeah. And did you do one late? No, I did one before. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you ran with me on the Riley, jo Riley Jorgen. Yeah, thing. that's the one I remember. You jumped out of the RV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Riley, that this 16-year-old like kid that I've talked about before <laughs> in the podcast... This unbelievable athlete goes out and, and scorches a four minute kilometer on the first kilometer. And I'm like, I can't run this. So I do another one with him. Then I do a third one. I'm like, no, this is not going to work. So, okay, good luck, Riley. And then I was messaging you guys and you just jumped out of the RV and came and ran with me. Uh, do you think, like, what are we going to do for pace? We're going to take it easy, right? Yeah, 250. We got no awards to win. We got. No, no. Hey, you can take your time. Take my time. Sure. I won my award today when I ran a 144 at the Fredericton Half Marathon. Yeah. I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty pumped because I, I, I think that's fast for, for a guy who's run 300 kilometers in the last eight, nine days. I uh, think sometimes you're a little bit too hard on yourself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I appreciate your positive energy, energy and attitude. So now we're Almost hanging out. Fun. We got a couple cottages. Both hot tubs. Hot tubs. Yeah. First, yeah. only the second time we have a hot tub since. I want to ask you, all three of you, to think of your funniest kind of story or anecdote since you've been here. Oh. Yeah, the funniest story, the funniest thing you've seen associated with Run With Rob. The one know. funniest thing. And I'll start with you, Tyson. I think <laughs> I, I know what? yours, but... Do you? Well, okay, I want to hear it then because I'm thinking right now. Well, the funniest you is probably that's... when you sat at a dinner with 30 people. Sorry, yeah, that was by and far. And there was not actually, one yeah. word of French, yeah. uh, one word of English spoken. And yeah. you sat there politely and ate your potatoes and your steak oh, and yeah, your, yeah, yeah. your carrots and just smiled and was like, I'm in a movie right now. Right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm in a Twilight Zone episode. Very out of my element. Uh, <laughs> maple syrup farm. I maple don't syrup farm French. was, was a special. 99% French conversations and uh, it was... It was good, but you know, smiling is a universal language, so I was just smiling the whole time. I think they were trying to get you to date one of their daughters, too. Well, that well, it could have <laughs> been. I mean, you know, you know, like I said, the commute it would have been too hard. I've been from Winnipeg, and the Quebec, language, and just, the French language, it's yeah. just <laughs> a lot of uh roadblocks with that. And uh, the fact that I have a girlfriend that's a another girlfriend, road that's road probably road. the biggest one, and uh, yeah, so that's just wouldn't work out, but it was a Quite an experience. Quite the experience. Alexander, have you thought of your favorite memory? Or story? Or anecdote? Um, it was pretty funny when, like, um, for me, it was kind of funny when the basketball broke. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, well, tell that story. I broke a basketball because they pumped it too much. And I was like, ah! I jumped a little bit. And I was like, you're going to have to pay for the basketball. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't want to pay for the basketball. We're at the Airbnb. They got these old basketballs and they yeah. overpumped them. Yeah. I found a shooting and one of them popped. Yeah. Uh, Dixie. Uh, I feel like the the funny stuff's gonna happen later on. Yeah, we got we got <laughs> we got. I've only been here two days. So. Yeah, that's true. We just got that's here. True. Yeah. But yeah, we got Derek coming on Tuesday, so he's gonna suffer through yeah. a half marathon. That'll kind of be funny yeah. after. Yeah. Yeah. He will. You know, yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna suffer, suffer and then he wants to go golfing after that. Um. JP's accent was pretty funny. JP's accent was under. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, the, the banter answer. between your parents is always fun. Oh <laughs> yeah. my goodness, sorry, <laughs> that that is hilarious as well. How are you still married? Never gets old. Cool. What class got Very very funny. Give us one impression of either my mom or my dad, Alexander. Like, and give it to the camera. It's like, and I was like, 
Cody took our last turn. This is the wrong turn. It's not where we're supposed to go. Oh, by pourquoi ma pas dit plutôt? In English. Oh yeah. Why didn't you tell me this is the wrong turn? Because it said on the map right in front of you. Why don't you ever look at the map? You were oh, supposed yeah. to be the map. You were supposed yeah. to. Yeah. Who's who's navigating here? We're navigating. <laughs> Cody, did you buy all the? The potatoes or supper? <laughs> I thought you were buying all the potatoes. I'll have to buy and make the potatoes. Oh, can't you do like at least one thing? I do everything. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean can I do one thing? Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we do love my parents. They're they're my rock and they're keeping this whole thing together. My mom and oh, my yeah. dad, thank yeah. God. But it is fun to make fun of them a little bit. Married that's 40... Cool. Eight years, I want to say. 49 years, 48 years. So obviously, whatever they're doing works. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, what was I saying just before that? I can think of a number. Yeah, give me another one. <laughs> when um, you were picking us up at an airport, you decide, you had a sign oh, yeah. and you're like, you're like, oh, is this is this uh, the Taylor family? Oh, are you, are you guys a family that's coming with Ron the Frog? <laughs> And I was like, what is going on? I had a sign just said Tejo family. I was pretending I was a driver. Yeah, this is so embarrassing. Meanwhile, my wife gets off. She's like, your daughter didn't listen at all on the whole plane ride. My daughter? Probably your daughter. No, I loved, loved, loved that leg with Aubrey, my daughter, my six-year-old. So you did 10K. Mom did five because she was recovering. Or you did... 11 maybe she did five because she was recovering from mcl and meniscus surgery so that's what she's built it up to and then my other three daughters did the other 9k i guess but my six-year-old did a full 3k she did a full three kilometers my six-year-old she was picking a spot in the distance run to that sign run to that sign she'd take a break run to that sign it was she's she's a fighter so it was, yeah, it was, it was that was i love that because it was one-on-one -on -one time with each yeah. of them that was pretty cool and then they're flying out tomorrow. You're flying out tomorrow. You're going back to school. You, you did your hours of volunteer work. Yeah. Run with Rob. Mm -hmm. And then we get back at it tomorrow. Get back uh, at it tomorrow. Any last words, guys? Working nine to five. No, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna... oh, yeah. And Tyson, one more leg for you the same day as Diego. We'll get you to run the morning. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> oh, GP's so so fun. Fun. Oh, yeah, GP might come. Yeah, GP's oh, coming back. JP said he was wanting to run. He around. cruised through that leg, by the way. Yeah, so my really good, GP. Yeah. He's crazy. Oh, I feel like he's holding back on some Rob stories to come back in school. I want to hear his Rob <laughs> story. <laughs> Me too. Me There's too. a barbecue story for sure. Okay. <laughs> he burned the barbecue or There's something? There's a tequila warm story. There's a barbecue story. There's a whole bunch of late assignments, excuses, stories. There's a... Yeah. We used to have... Some good stories. We were the hub. We were the hub because the, there was five guys living in the house. 73 Murphy. I'm going to take you there. I'm going to take you to my old house. <laughs> I'm going to take you to the University of Moncton. I'm hopefully the volleyball picture of the 1999-2000 volleyball team is still... Yeah, are we going to oh, check that out? Yeah, we got cool. it. We got it. Somebody yeah. has sent me that photo. Has sent you that okay, we'll photo? Yeah, it. we'll find it. We'll find it. It's at the SEPs. Schools the, are open, right? You can just walk Well, the, the volleyball, yeah. it's like a community yeah. center. It's like okay. a huge thing with a pool and a thing. and a, okay. I'm, Yeah, we got to go check that out. Because I had my flow, the red hair and the... Well, I look like you. This is what I look like. Red <laughs> hair. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So we're gonna definitely going there. Oh, where's the time gone? We're going to go to 70... <laughs> I know. Dude, I was, I was your age. A little bit older. I was two years older. Yeah, JP... Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. JP's accent is probably one of the funniest things. And JP, if you're listening to this, not funny. It's not funny. It's I'd say it's different. It's yeah, East different. Coast. Yeah. It's yeah. Bay Saint Anne. It's we appreciate it. Intense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's intense. See, I forget how bad it is because I live with those. I live with four guys from there, and obviously, I, I put I forget the terms, but that was fun. He's a beauty, man. He, he was telling me the story when when he's like when you were booking when you're looking to book either Alberta or New Brunswick, and he asked me. He was hoping that I would say Alberta, because he was, he he was like, yeah, probably Rob's gonna make me run. I didn't make him run, or maybe I did. I don't know, but uh, he's him. never run in his life. So he went out, did a two k, then a five k, then a ten k, then an eighteen k, and then cruised right through his half marathon. Really, really, I think he we did ten minute miles the whole way. We had a huge hill at the end and finished maybe a minute or two shy. And he said he was gonna do another one. 
I think the yeah. drains is, uh, they got to. I honestly think he set the precedent for everybody running in the future. That he ran two legs. I mean, the grains is yeah. Well, the, all the grains I guess are all ran two legs. Yeah. So everyone's wow. like, okay, well, these guys can do it. Everyone. But the thing with the grains is the other ones now are like a little upset that they had a day off and that they got to sleep in between yeah. their legs. Yeah. Like their brothers got one on them, right? Even though Frank did a one fifty eight and I mean, they did a negative split. It was all fantastic. Yeah, they all did great. They, they but each Joe did back to back. Back to back, back, back to same back. day. Yeah, that's incredible. Zero training. Incredible. That's not he called me on Thursday, booked his flight right. the day before I came out here. Yeah. Huh. It's insane. It's probably not healthy. Might not be. Uh, he's okay, okay, right? He's not, okay. not healthy. Incoming call, Cross Canada Jacks. Nice. Right. Perfect timing. call. Yeah. We will stop this here. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, check us out wherever you listen to your podcast, which is Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever. And if you like the podcast, please go and write a review. A f- five star. Make sure it's a five star review. Write a review and pump us up, pimp us out, because uh, other people will listen, right? Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Perfect.